Welcome back to another video. It's Gecko Girl here. Um, we're interviewing a cool looking frog named Sapphire. You might be wondering, what's so cool about this frog? Well, she is a crazy looking genetic fluke that has baffled many people for many years. But uh, as you can tell, she doesn't look like a normal frog. Her face isn't green. Her face is actually sapphire, and you can see that very well on this camera. Isn't that beautiful, right? She's beautiful. But why she has this genetic fluke is kind of a cool thing. But uh, she has it because it's when the frog lacks in the yellow gene, because yellow and blue makes green, right? But when the frog lacks in a yellow gene, the frog will become blue. And it's very rare to happen in green frogs. Now, it can happen in bullfrogs, but it's very rare. And there's not many frogs out here like this. She may be the only green frog out here, guys, that has this genetic mutation. But we're going to be going ahead and asking the owner of this frog, which is no other than Bullfrog Boy, some questions about this beautiful, amazing frog with this amazing, amazing genetic fluke. But we're going to go ahead and put her back real quick, and we're going to talk to um, Bullfrog Boy for a minute. So here we go. Okay, so, Bullfrog Boy, my first question is, what was your favorite time with her that you had by far? Uh, like, your favorite event that happened with her, you know, your favorite activity that you did with her, you know, just, just hanging out with her. What was your favorite thing that you did together when you hanged out? Watching her eat the crickets. Oh, that's fun. You want to go ahead and feed her one right now? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. So we're not going to feed any right now, you know, just, she's kind of full, but, uh, Next question. Mm -hmm. How old would you say that she is? Um, I think she's about maybe two. Oh, that's a good age, you know? Good age. She's living long, living long, <coughs> happy. <laughs> uh, that was my lunch. We actually, uh, we actually got a couple of uh, minnows and we skinned them and we cleaned them and we boiled them up yeah we did we did it together mostly him but it was delicious oh my gosh yeah we, we did some oregano too oh delicious but uh anyway um what is your favorite feature about her like do you like her hunting ability her you know just her activeness do you like her her because she's active do you like her you know because I of her like, pigment? Or? Um, I like her pigment. Yeah, her pigment's nice, you know, it's rare. Um, so, you do, uh, so guys, we're gonna go ahead and, uh, talk about how we actually found her. Now, this is gonna be very cool, uh, because we actually raised her from a tadpole, and we actually found her together, but I couldn't really keep her eventually as time grew, but, uh, I actually originally found her when she was at... Like, I'm pretty sure it was like, yeah, Jellystone Park. She was at Jellystone Park, uh, washed up on the beach as a tadpole, so we took her home. And we kind of took her home. It was a long ride, but we took her home. And, you know, we brought her home, and we gave her a good life. But then, you know, as she got older and got bigger, we couldn't keep her anymore because we had way too many reptiles and amphibians everywhere. Um, we couldn't keep her at the time, so... We went ahead and gave her to my bestest of friends, Bullfrog Boy, and they now live happily ever after. Um, when did you notice her blue pigment? I didn't notice. Yeah, <laughs> it's kind of like it's kind of hard to tell at first, right? Yeah. Because when they're young, you can't really the tell. The reason, another reason why you gave me the frog was because I lost my other frog. Yeah, it was a very sad day, you know. R.I.P. Uh, what was his name? Hopper. Yeah, R.I.P. Buddy. R.I.P. Um, what was, you, like, what was you, like, did you feed her anything besides crickets? And if so, what was, um, your favorite thing that you fed her? I fed her mealworms. Oh, that must have been fun. I fed her, um, hornworms, but she didn't eat them. Nah, she crazy. Yeah. M maybe, maybe it's just too blue for her. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hormones are blue, guys, if you did not know. But. Yeah. Um, so, other than that, what is your, uh, like, um, so we're gonna go ahead and wrap up this conversation, guys, but, uh, what was your favorite memory with Sapphire? 
Huh? What was your favorite memory that you had of Sapphire? Didn't you already ask me that? No. Yeah, cricket, eating crickets is awesome, you know? That's a favorite activity. Um, what was your favorite part about owning a frog? Uh, was it the eating, just the, the enjoyment of the frog? Or? It's just easier to take care of than other animals, kind of. Yeah, you know, and it, it, it's fun to watch them devour everything, like mice and whatnot. Yeah. It's fun. I wasn't able to get mice. I yeah. stopped by yesterday to get some mice, but they didn't. They were out. Oh, that's a bummer. But uh, that's going to wrap it up for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, we, we can definitely do some video eating this amazing miracle. Um, and it's just crazy to find out that frogs have this disease. I will list more about this disease in the comments below. But uh, but if you are guys wondering if it affects the frog in any way, it does not. The frog is fine. You know, the frog is perfectly fine. The only thing it kind of affects is just the way that it kind of, in the wild, acts. You know, because it knows that it's blue, and it knows that every predator can see them well, so they're more skittish. But raising this one in captivity is not really... Um, its whole life was spent in captivity after he found it off the beach. You know? So, but she's a sweetheart. Um, I'm going to so go ahead and see any more cool videos about interesting animals that m there may not be many left. Uh, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe, you know? We'll definitely do some videos about rare and endangered animals. Okay, now we're going to be going ahead and doing a joke before we leave, so. Uh, how does an Eskimo fix his broken toy? He eats them? No. He, uh, he uses, uh, a glue. Bye.